Today, we're going to explain a very important lesson, which is how to bring an image from Photoshop for editing into Illustrator, or how to link or embed an image from Photoshop to Illustrator. Meaning, I have a PSD image. I want to place it in Illustrator. How do I create a link or embed between Illustrator and Photoshop for editing? Meaning, any change I make to the image in Photoshop, I want to see it automatically updated in Illustrator as soon as I hit save in Photoshop. All right, let's take a look together. To start, I have Adobe Illustrator CC. Here I have, let's say, a ready-made template like a flyer. They open the image in Illustrator in a way, like either by using open or by opening it directly from within Illustrator. No, that's actually wrong. Let's see together how I go to file down here. After file, I have place, which is the option to choose. Its shortcut, by the way, is command plus shift plus P, or Control plus Shift plus P on Windows. Yes, I will press it, please. I find the image here. It's a PSD file that I've already prepared. And here's the most important thing. The most important thing, guys, is that sometimes it's not linked here. There has to be a check mark on link. Link means, once you check it, you've created a connection between Photoshop and Illustrator. So, it links Photoshop and Illustrator seamlessly. Any quick edits you make in Photoshop will update instantly in Illustrator once you hit save. Now, let's quickly check out the different import options available when placing a file. Okay, here I've taken it and clicked on Illustrator. If we notice together, as soon as you bring in the image and have it linked, like we did when we checked the link box, you'll see it puts an X over it like this. That means there's now a link or embed between Photoshop for editing and Illustrator. All right, now I want to make a mask here. I took the square here, cut it, then pasted it here. Of course, we've already explained masking on our channel here. How to create a mask in Illustrator? First, I select this and put it on top like this. Then I grab the image like this and press Command plus 7 or Control plus 7, and I see that it moves here. Now I can control it however I want, move it like this, or resize it from here while holding Shift. Of course, I'm holding Shift, then I repeat this method like this. All right. I create a link. OK. Now the most important point is how do I move from Illustrator to Photoshop to edit the image? There are two ways. The first one is that here, I have something at the top called Edit Original. And if Edit Original doesn't show up, you can go to Window from here. You go to something called Linux. And select it from the top. From here, there's also something called Edit Original. Either way works. There's also the method I'm currently using, which is the quick way. You just select the image with the white arrow, the one with the plus sign, which ungroups. As soon as you select the image, hold Alt and double click. It'll quickly take you to Photoshop. Now we're in Photoshop, or if you don't. If you prefer the regular, traditional way without shortcuts, you can do it from here. Like we said, from links and then edit original, you'll find it quickly and it'll open in Photoshop. All right, let's just make a simple edit to the image so we can see. Okay, let's say here I have a background on, on the computer image. On the device image, I want to give it a specific color. I want to add a certain color so it stands out clearly. I'll make a selection for it so it's clear. Let's do, for example, uh, in red. All right, the red color, and I'll make a new layer for it. Of course, we've already explained the layer shortcuts before and how I can open a layer from here. Uh, so I can control the colors and manage a lot of things. All right, now I'll fill it here. Now it's red. Okay, now the image is edited. As soon as I hit save in Photoshop or save from here in Photoshop, that's how I'll find it. Let's go back to Illustrator. 
that there are files that have been updated in Illustrator. They were updated in their original app, like Photoshop or something else. It asks if you want to update them. Update them now, you need to click yes. All right, as soon as you click yes, as soon as you save, you'll see the image updated in Photoshop. Of course, guys, this method or these steps are really easy and super important. It makes things a lot easier for you when you're working on a magazine, on anything. Yeah, this really makes things a lot easier for you. Instead of having to reopen the image in Photoshop and then bring it back into Illustrator again as a place. So here, we've saved a lot of steps and that's it. This is the correct way to place or link or embed an image from Photoshop for editing into Illustrator. Thank you all for watching. Thank you.